Wang Yi accused the U.S. of suppressing China to the point of reaching, quote, bewildering levels. He was speaking earlier today at the National People's Congress in Beijing. He also said that China opposes all acts of power and bullying. And those comments came right on the heels of Chinese leader Xi Jinping calling to mobilize, quote, patriots to oppose Taiwan independence. Now, in questions with reporters that took place today, Wang commented on the U.S.-China relationship, and he called for mutual respect in the U.S.-China relationship. He also acknowledged there's been some improvement in relations since recent summits, especially the APEC summit in San Francisco. But he also said this. Take a listen. But it has to be pointed out that U.S. misperception toward China continues. And U.S. promises are not truly fulfilled. The U.S. has been devising various tactics to suppress China and kept lengthening its unilateral sanctions list, reaching bewildering levels of unfathomable absurdity. Um, some pretty strong language there from China's top diplomat. You know, the U.S. and China, they've been at odds over a number of issues, including what he mentioned, sanctions and access to technology, as well as territorial disputes in the South China Sea and Taiwan. Now, on the South China Sea, Wang said that China will take justified actions to defend its rights there. And he said that China has been exercising a, quote, high degree of restraint even after the Philippines accused Chinese vessels of dangerous maneuvers, something that a CNN team witnessed this week in international waters. Now, on the issue of Taiwan, Wang Yi said that China will continue to strive for peaceful reunification. Xi Jinping also on Wednesday called for peaceful reunification while rallying so-called patriots to reunify China. Now, this is according to state-run media, Xinhua. She urged a political group at the NPC to do the following. Let's bring up the statement from you from Xi Jinping to unite all patriots from home and abroad in and out of Taiwan to step up opposition against Taiwan independence, to expand support for na national reunification and jointly advance the peaceful reunification of China, unquote. Meanwhile, John, there's no word on whether a new foreign minister will be appointed. As you know, that role has been filled temporarily by Wang Yi since July when Qingdang was ousted without explanation after he disappeared from public view. Back to you, John.